Over the past few weeks, we've been undertaking this laborious, difficult, arduous task of trying out all the different happy hour places in all of Waikiki. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want you guys to know really where is the best happy hour place in all of Waikiki. I know, I know, you don't have to thank me now for all the hard work we did. We want you to know though, so the next time that you take that nice bite of pizza from Maui Brewing Company, you can say, thanks Lisa and Josh for vetting this place for us. Yep, and to that we say, you're welcome. <laughs> now a lot of you might be wondering, how was this all done? What kind of evidence did you use? What kind of data did you use? Very good question. We visited and ranked them on a one to five scale. Overall value, food, drinks, view and vibe. So we ranked them one through five for each of those and then tallied them all up to tell you the top scores. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna break down the top five best happy hour places in all of Waikiki. It was a tough challenge, but we did it. Yep. And we did it well. It up. Number five, Arnold's Beach Bar. We love the vibe of this place. It was this kind of cool, out of the way, not very busy place to go and get happy hour. You could tell that before this, they had really just been a bar as their food kind of felt a little bit tacked on, but their drink specials were amazing and they were the cheapest that we found anywhere in Waikiki. Going to Arnold's Beach Bar is like going to your friend's patio and your friend's patio happens to be decked out with vines growing off the sides and all of this amazing tropical decor. Like Josh said, the food wasn't so great but the drinks were on point. Yep. And for those of you that want to visit the place at night, it turns into this amazing divey bar kind of feel. It's pretty great. Yeah, so for those of you like me who are fans of dive bar happy hour, this is gonna be your favorite place. So we decided to give Arnold's Beach Bar a final score of 18 out of 25. Number four, Maui Brewing Company. Maui Brewing Company is a staple here in Waikiki and we love visiting this place. Not only do they have an awesome selection of beers that are about $5 each on their happy hour, they have $10 pizzas. And while they may not look artisanal, they taste delicious. At Maui Brewing Company, we found that you got the best value for your food bucks as far as anywhere that we went. As in, the portion sizes that they give you for their happy hour food are really big. You can split their nachos or anything else on their menu for two people. And for those of you that are introverts, Maui Brewing Company is awesome because you can basically dine without ever having to speak to a human being at all. Mm -hmm. They have figured out this COVID safe process of getting you in, ordered, and seated, and pay on your telephone so you can leave without ever having to interact with anybody. It's a really efficient way to get in and out of a restaurant, especially during happy hour. We found it to be great and really comfortable. Now the view from Maui Brewing Company, while it's high up, is not amazing. You're looking basically at the other side of Waikiki at a building, but the vibe there is really cool. Sometimes they have live music and the space is just open air seating. So all of that led us to give it a final score of 21 out of 25. Next up, Genius Lounge. This was a place that I had never heard of before I came to Waikiki, and honestly, we probably wouldn't have found it without our friends Lila and Melissa telling us about it. This is one of those great hidden gems that just feels comfortable. It just feels like you're going home, and the whole vibe of the place is very relaxed, and very relaxed, very calm, very welcoming, and overall, we had a really great experience here. The food, especially, is so good here. I would highly recommend their Cajun french fries. These are the best french fries that I've had on the island so far. And for all of you that know me, you know that I'm a bit of a stickler for a good french fry. Had to pick up some fries just because I always need fries. And for those of you looking for other kinds of food outside of french there fries. There is no other food. I have a mild obsession with french fries. Genius Lounge has an amazing selection of a lot of different kinds of local and Japanese foods. They have a plate of garlic shrimp that is just to die for and mm -hmm. will give the food trucks a run for their money. They also have really great drink specials, including amazing sake on the happy hour menu. Speaking of the sake, this is the best deal on sake that you can get at any of the happy hour places. Not only do you get a nice big glass of sake, but in the box that it comes in, that's a whole nother glass of sake in there that you just pour into the glass once you're done, so you're actually getting two for the price of one. The only points that we took off for this place were really for the view. You're just kind of on this nice little lanai overlooking a street. 
It's not bad, it's just compared to the rest of the other places, it wasn't anything special. All of this together added up to give Genius Lounge a total score of 21 out of 25. Now this is the exact same score that we gave Maui Brewing Company, but the thing that was really the tiebreaker for us here is that drinks were overall much cheaper than they were at Maui Brewing Company, and you got a lot more options. Maui Brewing Company, being a brewing company, mostly beers. But here you can get pretty much anything. The number two spot goes to Deck at Queen Kapiolani Hotel. Mm -hmm. Deck is one of those places here in Waikiki that you have to visit for its unparalleled views. There are a ton of happy hour spots here in Waikiki, but Deck has by far one of the best views of all the island. And that's because it has a completely unobstructed view of Diamond Head. The vibe there is chill and relaxed, but it's also very cute and boutique-y. The food tastes amazing, and the drinks are also really special and handcrafted. I had the Lily Koi Margarita, and I loved it. And a hot tip for visiting Deck, if you go on Mondays, their Mai Tais are half off. They usually cost $18, but on happy hour, they're $9. And for those of you like me who are into the simpler things, like a nice cheap beer, this is also a great place to go and get that. It was only $4 for a draft beer, and they have a pretty big selection. It was a great place to go. View was great, vibe was great. You can make a reservation so you can hold your spot for happy hour. There was a lot to like here. We gave Deck an overall score of 22 out of 25. It was really great. The only points that we really took off were for overall value, just because some of the prices were a little bit higher for food and drinks than other places in Waikiki. Up next, our number one spot, the greatest happy hour place in all of Waikiki goes to Duraku. Yay! Duraku! We absolutely fell in love with this place the first time that we went, and we've been back a couple of times since. The food deals, the drink deals, the happy hour, the portion sizes, what's not to like about this place? The vibe is this very relaxed, small Japanese restaurant feel with amazing lighting, and it's right in the Royal Hawaiian, so it's accessible to anyone no matter where you're staying in Waikiki. Honestly, it was a very easy decision to make this our number one. The value that you get for the money that you spend here is just a notch higher than everywhere else that you'd go for happy hour. And the food that you get, the standard of it is so high. For those of you sushi lovers, Duraco is the place to go. You get such amazing deals on the happy hour for sushi and raw fish. For those of you who don't like sushi, there's also a lot of options for you as well. Their chicken wings are so, so tasty. Duraco's happy hour for drinks are also really, really great. You can get things from sake to beer to lychee martinis, which are really, really fresh yeah. and top notch. There's a lot to like about this place and adding all that together, we gave it a score of 22 which is the exact same as the last one, but the tiebreaker here for us was the vibe. We just felt more at home here, felt more relaxed. Felt This felt more like a place that we could spend kind of as much time as we wanted there. At Deck, there's so many people coming in and out, and it's just a much bigger restaurant that you kind of know that you can only really spend an hour there. In fact, they cap the amount of time that you can stay there to just 90 minutes. Whereas at Duraku, it just felt like, come on in, hang out as long as you want. We're glad you're here. We're gonna keep going back for sure, and years to come from now. With all that said, we have a couple of honorable mentions, just some places that we know are really popular in Waikiki that we also went to, and we just wanted to quick share our thoughts on those as well as how we rank them. First up is Tiki's. This is right on the corner, essentially overlooking the ocean. And the view here is amazing, but that's the only amazing part about its happy hour. They have absolutely no food on their happy hour, and the drinks that they do have are the exact same prices when they're not on happy hour. This place doesn't make a lot of sense to go to for happy hour other than their really nice live music. Good vibe, good views, we can't recommend it for anything else. Another gem that we visited a couple of times is Hideout, which is located in the Lalo Hotel in Waikiki. Hideout is one of the newer places in Waikiki. Not only did it have live music, it had a beautiful and relaxed ambiance to it. The food and the drink selection was good, but a little bit on the pricier side for us. So that's why I didn't quite make this list. Next up is Basalt. I don't know what else to really say about this place other than that it was okay. The food was okay. The drink prices were okay. There was nothing really special about this place. Nothing really memorable for us. Basalt is located off of Kuhio near Duke's Lane, so there is a lot of people who might be walking by looking for a quick bite to eat. It's kind of near a parking garage and there's not a lot of sun coming in. It didn't really make me feel like I wanted to stay for a very long time. 
So that's it, the top five best happy hour places in all of Waikiki. If you have any recommendations for other great places that we didn't try out for happy hour, throw them down in the comments below. We really appreciate it. We're gonna keep trying it, and if we happen to change our mind, we'll throw out an update video. We know also there are tons of happy hour places that we didn't cover, even outside of Waikiki. So if you have any video suggestions or you want us to cover other things, definitely let us know. See you later. <laughs> so that's it, cut. Hard. Ooh. Over the past few oh, weeks, we oh, I was doing this. <laughs> no, no, we gotta talk about the rubric. Okay. Now. <laughs> Please don't go to rubric. <laughs> Can you stop looking okay. so sad? If you're, are you gonna pay attention? <laughs> I was moving this thing. Question now, and good question for these times. Good question for these day and ages. <laughs> so, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Just say good question. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Collection of some amazing, amazing beers. You can get some amazing food deals. The pizzas are $10. And while they don't look so amazing, they are so... Step up. Can you use the word amazing just one time, maybe in each, during each segment? Yeah, you are not amazing. Already. And they also have $10 pizzas. And while they may not look artisanal, they taste... <laughs> <laughs> he almost did it. Um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Um, it's not convenient, but it amazing? is. Amazing? You know, it's amazing. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, Genius Lounge. How can't I say that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Genius Lounge just had. Meh. Lounge just has an amazing select. I hate that word. Yeah, so Genius Lounge has an. Genius, one of the things that makes uh, <laughs> number one. No, 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 no. This, oh. is, this is number two. Doug is an. Uh, I can't stop saying amazing. <laughs> Unblocked. What is it? Up next, our big number one spot. <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do a noise. drum roll. How do you do a drum roll? Not like that. <laughs> Can you do it then? <laughs> what do I do? I'll do this. That's better, sure. But then you can't see it. Okay, so go ahead. Alright. I got it. I can't do it. How do you do drum roll? Just. Oh, okay, okay. I Maybe, I don't know, something like that. Or just to hit the thing. It'll be better if you just hit the thing. Just hit the thing. Anyway. It's really going well today, guys. It's really going well. Or mm, hide out. She's losing it. It's all fall. Okay, hold on. Hold the, on. Though the okay. wheels are falling off the wagon here. Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs> <laughs>